let's go ahead and do it. If you want, you can time yourself, kind of see where you're at. We try to beat your time, try to uh, see what happens if you change the weight and you add other variables. Make sure you're nice and warmed up before this. Don't just jump into this. That would be, that'd be foolish and very reckless. Also, when you're doing the one arm exercise, start with your bad or weak side first. I have some shoulder problems, so I start with my right. It used to be my strong arm, but now it's on weak arm because of the shoulder. So I go with it first to make sure it has plenty of energy to do a necessary lift. So I'm going to start with uh, 10 push presses on each side for a total of 20, and I'm going to go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a one, and 10. So on each side on this one, it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After that, go right to my high pull. So, bending my back, going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My left. One, two, three, four, Five, you can close my body. Six, pop my hips. Seven, squeeze the glutes. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Next, we go to the one arm swing for ten each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I'm gonna switch it. Don't switch like that unless you're ready. Two, three, four, five. Squeeze the glutes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you know what glutes means, you want the butt. Squeeze it nice and tight. Drop down now. Eight crunching punches. Let's grab the weight here. Hug my own hand, bring it over to my safety position, and now I'm going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Wrap right that up. Whew. Get my sweat on. Good. Now, go to the seesaw press. Go with two weights now. We have one. You can just do one side at a time. My all straight up. It's my plank position. Small, narrow base. Emphasize the abs more. Keep the glutes tight. My legs fully walked out. And I begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, elbows in, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There I am. Now I'm going to squat. You'll break. 20. 1, 2, 3. Hold it up. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Elbows are in. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Squeeze the glutes. 19. And 20. Now we're going to swing and kick. Woo. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I just realized after the swing kick with the dumbbell, we do that real quick and do a super set because that was too easy, I guess. So I'm here, one, two, three. Excellent. That's the circuit. I'm going to put up the numbers here, but that's 10 push presses, one arm, 10 one arm high pulls, 10 one arm swings. Each one 20 each, with your both arms. Eight crunch, eight crunch and punches each side. 20 seesaw presses, 20 circuit squats, and turn to 20, uh, sorry, 20 swinging kicks. I uh, hope you like that. I really do. As you notice, my cardio is up. I don't like running. Not only it's a knee and ankle issues, I find it boring. Uh, I'll do a trail. Hate treadmills. Hate, 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 hate treadmills. Hate them, despite them. Uh, not being elliptical or whatever either. But this be that cardio up. Build tons of strength. Build your cardio endurance. We're also building a lot of muscular endurance. We'll also help them get in shape. Help you shed that fat. I mean, really burn that fat off while giving you nice and toned, strong, and energized. Notice that was a quick workout. Boom, 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 boom. Not workout, but circuit. That was one round. You can do it again and again and again. Notice they made a two minute break. Hit it again. Two minute break, hit it again. I would say rounds of three to five. Golden, and you're starting from zero to nothing. Just doing one round. Then, hey, I'm tired, I don't have much time. 10 minutes in the morning. Get like a five, maybe five minute stretch. Dude, you can just do a jog in place, a couple of butt kicks, some high knees, stretch your shoulders out, double scarecrows, get your back nice and loose, do a few body weight squats. Three minutes right there, get the heart rate up, got blood circulating, hit this circuit, you will definitely lose weight will also get much more tone. You will also have tons more cardio. I can outrun people who run more than I do simply because of this. Not because, because what I'm doing is really spiking that heart rate. It's building up those healthy hormones in my system, balancing out a lot of things, helping get that crap out of you. Uh, that, and that just sleepiness, that tiredness, whatever. This is a great workout slash circuit. You can do mix this in with whatever you're already doing. Like, hey, I'm not sure, Dave. Sounds kind of crazy. Do this as part of after your warm up. Go to the gym, write this down, do this little workout, and then if you want, then hit the machines. Then do your treadmill, or just do this for one week, or even three times in the week, and place your cardio. And then come at the next week, do your cardio again. You will definitely, beyond a doubt, guarantee feel a difference. If you don't. If you can do this and you feel nothing, you feel like you're not getting stronger or faster, just hit unlike, leave me a rude comment, email me, I will apologize to you, or record it, put it on, put it on YouTube. Just uh, go, click down there, click unlike, leave me a comment, send me an email, dave at dcathlete.com. Say, Dave, that didn't work, that was some bullshit, horrible workout, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, can't believe you're a personal trainer. I'm disgusted with you. Tell me that if, you, if it doesn't work for you. Uh, I mean, I'm serious. Give this a shot. It's great. It's going to just totally boost you up. And it's really going to do another one thing. It's going to really work your posture. It's about the glute flexing. You're going to be standing taller. Your shoulders will be sitting back. You won't be at a desk like this all day. But you'll naturally just stand nice and tall from all these pressing motions and swinging motions because you're going to be working so much your postural chain. Meaning from here to here. Your shoulders, your back, your glutes, your, your hamstrings, your quads, and your calves, soleus, and your gastrops. You're just going to get it. It's incredible. And it's full body, it's quick, that's why I love it. And it's something you can do in your living room. You don't want to do it at the gym, do it in your living room, do it in your bedroom. I didn't really need a lot of space. I'm in a big room, but really, 
move a coffee table, you have a weight, you can do it. If you have your horrible shape, you have no workout equipment, get a big can of soup. You go in with two big cans of soup. I'm serious, or some broth. Fill up some jugs with water and do the same workout. I'm telling you, you, you will be amazed. If not, call me on it. Dave at DCAthlete.com, you're a horrible trainer. Just tell me that. I will apologize. And if I have wasted your time, I apologize for that too. If you really like it, awesome. So I want to share this with me. I'm now going to try to share it with you. Have a great day. Once again, I'm Dave at, of course, DCAthlete.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed this circuit. If you're interested in more, you can check out my website, send me an email, leave a comment, hit the like button down there, and I'll make more of these videos. All right? Have a great day. Get nice and sweaty. Be the best you can be.